Hi students, in last videos we observed arithmetic progression. Now we are observing geometric progression, GP. Okay, geometric progression. What is geometric progression? If you observe, let us take some examples. Say one, two, four, so on. If you take like this, you observe two. What is the relation here? 2 upon 1 is equal to 2, right? And 4 upon 2 is equal to 2. Similarly, 8 upon 4 is equal to 2. So in this way, in this uh, sequence or in this progression, you can say you we are observing the ratio is same, right? Can we call this as a ratio, right? Yeah, that means here, if you take this as term 1, this is term 1, term 2, term 3, term 4. Okay. T2 upon T1. If you take the ratio between the consecutive terms, that is, uh, you are getting the same ratio, fixed ratio. Okay. That means if a sequence in which each term, each term, okay, except first term, except First term, because if you consider first term, you may not get, except first term, which is, it can be, we can obtain by multiplying, by multiplying a non-zero, a non-zero constant term, right? Non-zero constant, non-zero constant term, okay? non-zero constant term to its just previous term. What is the meaning? You observe. So you are observing that in each case, in the total sequence, starting from first, uh, first two terms, that is just accept this first term, by multiplying a non-zero constant, say I am multiplying a non-zero constant 2, okay, with its previous term, 1 into 2 is 2, 2 into 2 is 4, right? With its previous term, you are getting this term, right? 4 into 2 is 8, right? Like that. That means by multiplying a non-zero, this is very important. If it is zero constant, means you are getting the total terms are zeros, right? So, here we use non-zero constant. That's why, okay? Yeah. Uh, let us uh, look at that now. This is non-zero constant term to its just previous term, right? So, this can be called as geometric progression or GP, okay? Uh, now, you observe 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus, same problem I am taking, example, 8 plus so on, find 15th term I am asking, 15th term, you observe what might be the series now, what might be the, this series, so if you take first A, then, so it should be multiplied by some, any fixed constant, right, non-zero constant. Let us take it as R, okay, A into R. Plus, what happened to the next, next number? You see, here, A into 2, that is 1 into 2. Next, this one, 1 into 2 square, yes, am I right? 1 into 2 cube, yes? So that I can write A plus AR plus AR square plus AR cube plus so on. Can you guess the nth term now? Tn, what might be the Tn, nth term? So, A or to the power of n minus 1. Why? Because A is the first term. Okay. Second term is only AR, not AR square. If it is AR, you will get AR to the power of n. Right? Understood? So, nth term you want means just you. You have to less 1. Okay. AR to the power of n minus 1. This is the general or standard form of standard form of uh, any kind of tn that is nth term 
nth term in gp pn is equal to a into r to the power of n minus 1 okay now let us find for this question a is equal to you know <clears throat> um in uh, ap also we have taken the first term as a here also in the same way we are taking a as one okay but what we, what we have taken what is the key word in ap key word in ap is what that is common difference right common difference here there is no such kind of difference here we have common ratio right common ratio you are getting not difference okay yeah so now common ratio is generally represented because or no so it is denoted with the letter r so how much r now r is equal to 2 upon 1 or 4 upon 2 or 8 upon 4 anyway in any way you take you will get the same fixed constant right yeah now so 2 by 1 is equal to 2 right so if the common ratio is same then we can say that sequence is geometric sequence understood if the common difference is same that is ap and common ratio is same that is gp got it yes very good now let us observe in this 15th term so you got a as 1 r as 2 so can we write t15 so how do we write so t15 is equal to a into r to the power of 15 minus 1 am i right yeah a is equal to 1 into r is how much 2 to the power of 15 minus 1 that is 2 to the power of 14 so 2 to the power of 14 is our 15th term of the given series understood now in the same way i am going to find so in in first what we have uh, done in arithmetic progression just we found a tn right after that we found we found sn and then what about next and we did some problems related to that and after that mean arithmetic mean right in the same way we are doing here sn okay how do you find the sum to n terms of gp now sum of n terms of gp come on how do you find this so if a is the first term same thing if a is the first term it is the first term and r is common ratio okay r is common ratio okay sum to n terms so sum to n terms is generally denoted by sn only right in ap also here what is our general series a first term is a a can be multiplied with some fixed non-zero constant that is nothing but common ratio right yeah a plus ar and again you are multiplying you are increasing the power of that common ratio right plus on ar to the power of n minus 1 okay now what i do is just i am multiplying with r this one okay in uh, in uh, deriving the APSN sum to in terms of AP, just we have written in a uh, reversal manner. Just you reversed it, right? Do you remember? Yeah. Now I am writing. So this can be what? Oh, what do we get? R times SN means R times SN. I am doing right. So what do we get? A into R. Yes. A R plus A R square plus A R cube plus so on A R to the power of N minus 1 and also A R to the power of N. Why? Because here A becomes A R, right? Because we are multiplying with R. Okay. Now, what I do is, so just I am subtracting these two. If I subtract these two, what do I get? Let me check. So, Sn minus R times Sn is equal to, okay. So, this term is left, right. And uh, also, 
what is left here? You can observe S n into uh, A minus. Only A is left because these two get cancelled, right? Whenever you do subtraction, the lower number signs are going to change, right? So this is, this is plus. So this also changes to minus. So this A R A R A R square A R cube all get cancelled. Only the remain only that uh, A R to the power of A R to the power of N is left. Am I right? Yeah. Next, what I do is, can I take Sn as common here? Sn into 1 minus R, which is equal to, here A is common, okay? A into 1 minus R to the power of N, okay? Now, how, what it becomes? So, 1 minus R to the power of N by 1 minus R, right? A into 1 minus R to the power of N by 1 minus R. This is the uh, sum to N terms. Of a Z. Got it? So, here one more important point it, uh, you have to remember. Here, 1 minus R to the power of N, or you can write this as Sn is equal to A into R to the power of N minus 1 by R minus 1. Can I take? Yeah, because I am multiplying the whole thing with minus both numerator and denominator. Okay. Then we, you will get in the same way, right? So, A into then where one important condition in this case R never be 1. If R is equal to 1, what happens? 1 minus 1 becomes 0. 1 minus 1 becomes 0. So, denominator becomes 0 means it cannot be defined. Okay. So, what we do? Generally, we go with, we go with this one and then we never take the denominator as 1. Understood? So, Sn is equal to A into R to the power of N minus 1 by R minus 1. This is our uh, sum to N terms of a ZB. Got it? Yes. Let us do one small question related to this. Take the same thing. 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 1 up to 20 terms. Okay. So, find the sum of first 20 terms. Yes, 20. They are Okay, how do we do? S20 is equal to, so here, in order to find S20, first you write what is given, A is equal to 1, and R is equal to, no doubt, T2 by T1, right? T2 upon T1, that is 2 upon 1, which is equal to 2, okay? A and R, you know, and what about N? N is 20. Can we easily find S20? S20 is equal to A into 2 to the power of 20 minus 1 by 2 minus 1, which is equal to, A is how much? A is 1. A also substitute. So, 1 into 2 to the power of 20 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 is 1. So, 2 to the power of 20 minus 1, this is our answer. That is sum to uh, 20 term. Okay, understood? Let us go with now we got EN right and SN. Then now we go for GM that is geometric mean. Geometric mean. What is geometric mean? Mean middle, right? So you take A comma B comma C. These are the three terms I am taking. Okay, so if you want to calculate, if you want to calculate the geometric mean between A and C, the geometric mean between A and C should be B square is equal to A. That means if you take the product of the two terms, it is directly equal to the square of the middle term. Okay, square of middle Middle term that is geometric mean. So B is equal to square root of AC. Okay, B is equal to square root of AC. Now find the geometric mean between 4 and 9. If I ask like that, what you do? Simple. So this is A and this is C. Okay, geometric mean is B, right? So root of 4 into 9, square root of 36, which is equal to 6. 
In this way, you can easily calculate the geometric mean between any two numbers. Okay. Now, in AP, do you remember? Try to recollect that. Uh, we know that um, that. Uh, what do you say in AP geometric? Uh, sorry, arithmetic mean is B is equal to A plus C by two, right? Where A, B, C are in AP, the three. If A, B, C are in AP, then B is equal to A plus C by two. Here also A, B, C are in GB. Okay. This condition holds good for only GB. Okay. This condition holds good for AB. B is equal to A plus C by 2. Just you are taking the average of the first and last, right? In here, just you are finding the product and taking the root. That gives the geometric mean. Understood? And in that case, we found common difference, right? T is equal to B minus A by N plus 1. So this is very important in the common difference is very important in the case of AP. But in the case of geometric uh, progression or geometric sequence, which plays an important role by which by which one you observe, you, by, by which one you are observing and uh, saying that it is in geometric uh, progression just by observing the geometric, uh, that is common ratio, right? So that common ratio is given in the case of uh, geometric mean is geometric progression is b minus a whole power n plus 1 or is equal to b by a whole power whole power 1 by n plus 1 1 upon 1 upon n plus 1 you can take okay now let us do one small question uh, one example like uh, find the four geometric mean four geometric mean between between 3 and 729. Okay, how many? Four geometric means. So, 3, 3 after A1, A2, A3, A4, and 729. 729. Okay, now this is four geometric means. What is that? What is the which term this is? What kind of term? Can you say what kind of term it is? It is one out because you are inserting four geometric means. This is one term, right? Five and this is six term, right? Six term. So, can we say it is T6, right? Yeah. And also we can easily find the common ratio also. What I said for geometric, uh, for geometric progression, P by E. B by A whole, whole power N plus 1. 1 by N plus 1. Yes. Mm. Now, how do we write? So, B is 729 upon A is 3 whole power 1 upon N plus 1. What is N here? N is how much? How many? Uh, N is here, not the number of terms. Okay. Uh, how many geometric means? How many geometric means? N. So, N is 4, right? 4 plus 1, right? So, 729. Can we cancel this first? 729 upon 3 whole power 1 upon 5. Okay? So, 729 upon 3. 3 2 is 6. 3 4 is 12. 3 3 is 9. So, 3 2 43 whole power 5. 1 upon 5. So, can we write this as 3 power... Uh, 3 power 5, yeah, 3 power 5, whole power 1 upon 5. So, it, no doubt it becomes 3 power 5 into 1 by 5, a power m, whole power n, right? So, 3 power 1, which is equal to 3. So, we got or easily, right, 3. Just by applying the this uh, common ratio formula in the case of a uh, geometric uh, progression, we got our value. So, if you know r and you know a also, this is the no doubt. This is the first term. A is equal to 3. And R is also 3. Both are 3's. Can we easily write the A1? A1 is this is A. Right? First term is always A. Second one is AR. A1 is AR. Right? So, A into 
or yes it is 9 next what about a2 a2 is equal to a r square yeah this is first gm this is second gm so a into r square so 27 next third gm what is third gm a3 is equal to a r cube 3 into 3 cube that is 3 cube is 27 27 3 sir 81 okay next fourth gm a4 is equal to a r to the power of 4 3 into 3 to the power of 4 that is this is 81 into 3 that is 243 okay uh, like this we can easily calculate any kind of geometric means between the two numbers first finding just r if you know r and a you can easily write Okay. You can easily write all the geometric means between between the given two terms, right? Yes. Let us, uh, and also one more important uh, thing which is present in the case of geometric sequence is if you take 1, 2, 4, and I am taking 1, 2, 4, 8, okay, 8, 16 so on like this so uh, we already know that this is a finite and this is infinite finite sequence infinite sequence okay now infinite geometric series right what is infinite geometric series if a is the first term for this also the same thing a is first term okay or is common ratio of a infinite gp then sum to infinite terms no because it contains infinite numbers okay sum to infinite terms can be written as a by one minus r okay suppose they asked you to calculate this they gave plus here between them come on you take like this this is infinite series no Suppose I want to, they are asking us to calculate its infinity. Here a is equal to 1. And what about r is equal to 2? So a by 1 minus r. Yes? 1 minus 2. Can I write? 1 by minus 1. So its infinity is minus 1. In that way, we can easily calculate uh, the S infinity, infinite series, sum also. Okay, got it? Yes. Next, so sum up to infinite series. What is the formula? Sum up to S infinity is equal to A by 1 minus R. Understood? So we got S infinity and then uh, what do you say? Uh, general term, general term, sum of normal terms, sum of terms of gp and infinite terms of gp okay like this we got all okay now let us take one egg one question okay an example or one question come on if each term of gp of the series this is our series okay each term each term is raised is raised to the power 2. Okay. Power 2. Then the resultant series. Whatever the resultant series you are getting. That is also in GP. Is this straight statement true or false? Justify. Okay. Come. So each term raises to 2. This is very important. Each term. Each term. Each term raised to the power raised to the power two. Okay, what is the meaning? So, can we write uh, our equation, uh, our uh, progression, just by raising it to it to two? Okay, yeah. 
uh, I raised it, right? So this is not in front of it. Just I raise it to two. Uh, what do we get now? Come on, observe. So here you can observe one, right? So this is one upon two square, one upon two to the power of, this can be two square, right? Two square whole to the power of four means two power of four. Yeah, this is two cube. That means two cube whole power whole square means two into three. A power M whole power N. Two cube whole power two is two power six. Made out like this, we are getting one series, right? So A1, A2, A3, A4. So take A1, A2, A3, A4 like this I am taking. So what is R1? R1 is equal to A2 by A1, right? So what is A2 here? 1 by 2 square by 1, which is equal to 1 upon 2 square. This is our R1. What about R2? R2 is equal to A3 by A2. A3 how much? A3 is 1 by 2 power 4 divided by 1 by 2 square, which is equal to 1 upon 2 square, right? So you are getting the common ratio C because it is GP, no doubt, okay? That means R1 is equal to R2 is equal to half, yes? So can we say that this is also in GP? Because uh, what is GP? A sequence which can be just multiplied, multiply with non-constant, non-zero, sorry, non-zero constant with the, with previous one, uh, continuously, you are getting a geometric sequence, right? Non-zero, non-zero, non-zero constant term, if you multiply the previous thing, each and every time, then you will get a geometric sequence or geometric progression. Yeah. So in this way, we are getting half. By taking the ratio also, you can take our A into R. You can take like that, ER, ER square, ER cube, like that. Okay. Now, so common ratio, the common ratio, common ratio is same. Therefore, Therefore, the, res the resultant series is GP. Series is GP, right? So, whenever they ask AP, whenever they ask AP, whether they are in AP or not, you go for common difference. For GP, you go for common ratio. If these two points clear, then you can do any kind of question very easily. Understood? Yeah. Let us go for one more question. Let me take one more question. Uh, G1, G2, G3. Now, say I am taking... We prove that... G1, G2, G3, so on, Gn is equal to square root of AB whole to the power of N. G1, G2, G3, G1, G2, G3, okay, so on, these are N GMs, Gn or N GMs between A and B. Generally, we, are we have to take A and B. Between them only, we have we are taking the GMs, right? So, what is LHS? We will take LHS here. Prove that. You have to prove that. G1, G2, G3. G1 into... G1 into G2 into G3. Sorry. G1 into G2 into G3. So, on, so on. GN is equal to square root of AB whole power N. So, G1, G2, G3 are... N GMs between A and B. Yeah. How do you take? G1 into G2 into G3. So on GM. This is our LHS. Okay. We can write this G1 as A. Yes. Is it A or A or? Even though it is GM. GM means GM lies between any two numbers. It is not single A. G1 should be 
a times its common ratio yes so g1 is a r don't confuse here a r a r square a r cube into it is not the common okay a r cube into a r to the a r to the power of 4 so on okay what do you get at last a r to the power of n because g n okay a r to the power of n so how do we write now this one so can i keep um, a into a a power 1 a power 2 a a a a up to how many is n n times you are taking right so can i write a power n no? a power 1 a power 1 a power 1 like that you are writing a power n times okay a power n next what about r r to the power of 1 r to the power of 2 3 4 so on so on r to the power of just because all are uh, having same base and the different powers. So can we add directly, right? So a power n into, what about r to the power of 1 plus 2 plus 3? Now you observe this again. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on n. So what kind of uh, sequence it is? Can you guess? So no doubt it is an a, b. Very good. So 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. That is common difference is same. Yeah, common difference is same. No doubt it is an AP. Right? It is an AP. So can you find the TN now? Yes. Come on. Let us find TN. TN is equal to A plus N minus 1 into T. TN is equal to what is GP? What is AP? AP common general term is a plus n minus 1 into d. 1 plus n minus 1 times d is again 1. Okay. 1 plus n minus 1. So, how much you got? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on. Okay. Up to n. Hmm. What do you get? So, only a, a is 1. 1 plus n minus 1 into d. d is also 1. Okay. So, what do we get? So, n we are getting, right? So, Tn is equal to n. So, r power n you are getting, right? So, a power n into r power, r, uh, r one more thing you can do. This is sum of n natural numbers, right? Sum of n natural numbers is Tn is equal to, no, no, this is only Tn we got, but they are asking, what are they asking? They are asking sum to n terms, right? Because plus between them, okay? So, Sn we have to find. Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2 into a is 1 plus l. L is how much? Last term. This is Tn, no? Tn is the last term. Yes. So, n by 2 into n plus 2. n 2 a plus L, no? Sorry. A is 1. 1 plus N. So, N into N plus 1 by 2, right? N into N plus 1 upon 2. What is this N into N plus 1 by 2? This is sum of first N natural numbers. Sum of first N natural numbers is N into N plus 1 by 2. Okay? Yes. So, what do we got now? So, A to the power of N let me write this. I am going to erase this part. Okay. If I, yeah, you observe n into n plus 1 by 2, right? Okay. e to the power of n into r to the power of n into n plus 1 upon 2, right? Okay. Uh, n into n plus 1 upon 2. So, how do you write this one? Can I write this as whole power half means can you take this as under root, right? R to the power of n into n plus 1. Okay. n into n plus 1. Under root. Yeah. So, how do you write? A power n into R power n into R power n into R power n plus 1. Yes. R power n whole power n plus 1 not r power because it is not uh, the you powers are multiplying not add you 
if you write the same base then they may add no it is not adding right so a to the power of n into r to the power of n whole to the power of n plus 1 1 by n plus 1 right so what is this what do we got a to the power of n so what is b in the case of uh, our gp b is equal to b is equal to what what is b b is equal to we know b geometric mean we, while calculating the r b by a r r is equal to you say r is equal to b by a whole power n plus 1 right ah uh, now how do you get how do you get this can be can i write this as you see you observe here you try to get uh, r is equal to b by a in uh, n plus 1 in that try to get the value of uh, b so r is equal to b power n plus 1 by a power n plus 1 can i write so a r into a power n plus 1 r into a power n plus 1 is equal to b power n plus 1 okay now now how do you write for this how do you write so r into a power n plus 1 is equal to b power n plus 1 r into a power n plus 1 so we want only r here right we want only r so what i do can i keep uh, can i keep that a to the power of n into r to the power of yeah n into n plus 1 by 2 no so this is uh, r to the power of n into n plus 1 we got so r to the power of n r here is b by a whole power n plus 1 can i put so instead of this i am keeping a to the power of n into r is b by a whole to the power of n into n plus 1 yes uh any b by a whole power 1 n plus 1 right and another n plus 1 so 1 by n plus 1 no b by a whole power 1 by n plus 1 n plus 1 n plus 1 get cancelled what is left here so we are getting a power n into b power n yes this is nothing but a power n a power n into b power n a power sorry here a, a power 1 by n no? a power 1 a power 2 a power 3 a power uh, up to a power n a power n into 1 plus 2 plus 3 are up to n up to n okay up to n so here what do you get here because under root no so we are getting a power n into r power n plus 2 okay so here a power n plus 1 again b by a whole power n plus 1 means uh, yeah, this n plus 1 this n plus 1 get cancel and here n plus, a power n plus 1 so a, if this a power n plus 1 uh if you if it goes to the top then it becomes 1 by n a power 1 by n and b power 1 by n so ab whole power 1 by n so this can be written as nth root of ab nth root of ab okay nth root of ab so we completed our gp you practice more problems in this so that we will get a clear picture uh, on gp so next class we are going to take harmonic progression in uh, uh, harmonic progression and uh, what is harmonic progression after that uh, uh, agp okay and miscellaneous series also we will observe okay thank you